Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Whatever we do here at this stage is all about water retention. This is the northern border. This is the water leaving the farm that arrive via the creek. This is the lowest weir we have. We can fix it a bit. Less water to come through this one specific spot. The second weir looks like this from the down creek side. This is the lower part of the land. This is the upper part of the same leaky weir. Some more adjustments we can make. Tweak it a little bit better. And the uh, next leaky weir in progress. The next area where we dumped a lot of Khara brush, the cystus, and then uh, some branches. And then the gabion. Then quite a long stretch without any water pacifiers. This is a beaver dam structure but all the water running through that one side we can fix it and then another one here the idea was to stagger it the water to come down here and uh, block it over there and then another gabion and then some boulders natural obstruction rocks on top of the bedrock then the latest experiment some sandbags and then the last obstruction that is a wall concrete wall built to get the water to a higher level to flow this way here I have cleared a little bit at the bottom of this sluice contraption for the water to bring some sand with it also, I don't need much water through this pipe system anymore, not right now. We have rainfall on the land that we manage with swales and berms. 
and then we have this arroyo creek we have just seen and then we have an erosion canal that comes from a another culvert and that was the first project we approached because it was an eyesore and is still an eyesore except that we have managed to work on it in that area there was a gully between one and one and a half meters deep we filled it with organic material and now we cut into the bank and place the dirt on top still water coming down here if we leave it like this we'll just create another gully and uh, this is not the idea the idea is to flatten it completely to have a steeper slope going that way in the land cut down on the bank and then lessen the water that comes down here plant a lot of plants and as soon as this organic material starts to rot it will be a perfect place to put some trees we have to choose them wisely because we already realized that through our efforts we collect too much water in certain places for some trees like the papaya This culvert over here This is the second supply of water to this land Outside of the rainfall We have a gabion there, we've got one here, we've got some brush two tiny dams, a lot of brush. We are going to change this to get the water as high as possible to where Max is. It might even be that we render these constructions obsolete, but that's also okay. It looks like it will be a celebration of progress, positive progress. Also, I'll remove these trees I have planted. There are six of them here because it might become a dam wall. Carob. Plant them somewhere else. Also, I don't want to bring the irrigation system so high up. I prefer to have a proper system in the other areas. Let's go and have a look at our pond system. And uh, some swales. This will sum up our efforts up to this point about managing water get it, get it to infiltrate the earth soil spread out instead of just running off I'm on my way to the west 
to see the pond. The idea is to have another swale or two more swales this way. This one is full, the ones over there are full. This one is even, oh, even overflowing. And it's only from rainwater, it didn't get supplemented by these culverts. This is a grass I don't think I have planted. It doesn't look like the wheat and rye and oats that I have planted. It, I like it because it's self-propagating. I need more of this kind of spirit. The end of this swale. Spilling over here, the water going back to the creek. Let's go west. These western swales are also full. Trickle, water leaving it. In the last six weeks, the first six weeks of this year, we have had 55% of rain of the total rainfall of last year. We are happy. Pond is still standing. This net will go up there as a fog catcher. And then if it does manage to catch something to, to run down here. In the meantime, this net is a toy for the dogs. They entangle themselves with it. I'm surprised how much water comes from this area trickling into the pond. Beautiful. I am still in awe of this site. The highest the water came up was just under that white flag there on the pole. And uh, this is more or less just my attempt to see how the water stabilizes at that height. This spillway will now be paved with rocks. And a tree branch came down last night. First time I see it all dead. Did it come from there? I don't know. It fell pretty hard. It broke into several pieces. It's actually a beautiful sight. It looks like artwork. That's why we should prune these trees. Ah, it came from there. That one is also completely dead can be dangerous me sitting here contemplating my sins and then it falls on my head yeah life is tough the swale is full this end has much more water than that one I increased the radiation of the swale with one degree towards that end should water come down here I don't want it to go to the uh, creek on that side I want it to come this way which it does and then 
in future I'll just have a few cement blocks here and then the water can go out this way beautiful I'm happy a nice day ahead of us let's get to work goodbye